Hello, it's time for Flashback, the weekly history quiz. Let's find out what's happened in history. We'll start in 1843. Seeking to move west, settlers and large wagon trains begin to leave Missouri on the Oregon Trail. Classic Oregon Trail. Against that, we're placing. The rhymed papyrus records some of the first known math problems. Suppose a pyramid is 375 feet tall and 540 feet wide. What is its slope? That's really good. That's a great, that's a great relic. Uh, obviously, that's, I don't know. When would that be? 1000 BCE, maybe? 1550, not bad, okay. Orson Welles broadcasts The War of the Worlds, a fictional Martian invasion on the radio, alarming some listeners who feared it might be real. When was this? Was this the 30s, 1930s, maybe? Almost placed that wrong. Yes, 1938. After expelling the powerful and Goliath Lake Medici family, the people of Florence commission a statue of their symbolic hero, a symbolic hero, Michelangelo's David. Uh, what is that? The 16? The 16? No, 1501. Okay. Inspired by vine jumpers in uh, Vanatu, uh, Vanuatu, David Kirk makes the first modern bungee jump. He said the main thought in his mind was whoopee. Um, interesting. When do I think this is? Do I think this is before or after 1938? I'm not really sure. I don't know. Oh, this is really feels like a coin toss to me. I, I haven't a clue. Um, 19, it's not, it doesn't require, you know, sort of advanced technology, I wouldn't think, but it still doesn't, but it still feels fairly modern to me. I don't know. I think I'm going to say after. 1979, much later than I thought. Okay, good. Well, at least I got it. As a teen, Ringo Starr is hospitalized with tuberculosis. Staffers urge him to stay active, so he joins the hospital band and starts learning how to drum. Uh, I'm guessing that's in the 50s. Yeah, 1954. Uh, Ringo Starr of the Beatles, obviously. In the age of robber barons, uh, Thorstein Veblen coins a phrase for the American habit of buying products to gain status, conspicuous consumption. That'll be the late 19th century. Uh, yeah, Veblen goods. That is, a, that is a phrase that refers to items that actually become more desirable as they get more expensive, which is contrary to how most objects, you know, most goods work in, with supply and demand. Uh, the Birkin bag is a very famous Veblen good. Anyway, um, I think that'll be late 19th century. Yeah, as late as it gets, 1899. In France, the physicist uh, Emily du Châtelet helps popularize Newton's still controversial theory that gravity influences the orbit of planets. Well, that'll be in between these two. 17, yeah, 1749. Though it helps bankrupt them, the Mughals of India honor their queen, Mumtaz Mahal, with a monument that takes her name, the Taj Mahal. Right, when do I think this is? Do I think it's the 16th or 17th century? Somewhere in there. I really should know this. It was the 17th century, 1648. Okay. It was sort of vaguely on the, in the ballpark, but uh, it was close enough to get <laughs> to get a perfect score. So there we go. Uh, let's see what people, uh, what tripped folks up. So obviously everybody placed the Rhine Papyrus correctly and just about everybody placed uh, Michelangelo's David. Right, actually... Nearly two-thirds of people misplaced the Taj Mahal, and uh, about a tenth misplaced Emily du Châtelet in her popularization of Newton's theory. Another 10% misplaced Veblen goods, I guess maybe, maybe placing it later into the 20th century. Just what everybody got the War of the Worlds, just what everybody got Ringo Starr, and nearly a fifth of people misplaced the bungee jump, which was the one about which I've definitely, that was really the one in here that I felt very unsure about. Um, so yeah, in retrospect, maybe that's obvious, but yeah, at the time I felt unsure. Well, there we go. Those were the events of history this week. I'll be back next week with more of this. Bye for now.